What is up guys, it is your boy Scooter Red coming at you with another episode of Scoot Review. Let's go. Today we're going to be counting down the top 5 aluminium handlebars for scooters. Now before we get into this video, I just want to clarify that aluminium is not the strongest material. You also have steel and titanium. Titanium is really overpriced at the moment. I would stick with steel for now. I ride steel bars myself and I must say that steel is a cheaper and more efficient option. With that being said, let's get into the countdown. Coming in at number 5, we have the Sacrifice Bennis bars in alloy. Now there are a steel variant of these bars, but these bars come in 22 inches high by 21.6 wide. That is 560 millimeters by 550 millimeters and come in with a total weight of 700 grams or 1.54 pounds. I've actually ridden a pair of these bars, they are not terrible at all, really really light for bar spins, they do spin really well. If you're not into big bars, if you are quite a small rider, then these are a really good option for you, no doubt. Coming in at number 4 we have the District AL2 bar. These Hail Mary variants come in at 25.5 or 650mm by 21.2 or 540mm wide. These bars I have not ridden, I have ridden the steel variant and I must say that the steel ones are a very very strong bar. Even without the gussets they do work really well. These come in at 50 grams more than the Venus bars at 750 grams or 1.65 pounds. They come in a whole range of different colours like yellow, blue, teal, red, black and white etc. And they are an overall good option, District is a reputable brand so you can definitely trust them. Coming in at number 3 we have the notorious Ryan Williams Signature One Piece Alloy Bar coming in at 26 or 670mm high by 25 inches or 635mm wide, one of the wider sets on this list. This bar comes in a limited edition box, it's really cool, you get a set of bar ends, R Willy bar ends and an HRC kit with it as well to perfectly fit it to your scooter. You can also get our Willie snapbacks and socks in his new apparel range that will be coming out very shortly. These bars look great on all black customs and they weigh in at 950 grams, that's 2.09 pounds. Then coming in at number 2 we have the Blunt Reaper V2 bars. They come in 25.5 high or 650mm by 22.8 or 580mm wide. Now aesthetically I would have put these 
bar Z number one because I think they look really amazing, but the design of number one is much better and much, much stronger, you'll find out in a second. These bars are great, the V1 uh, really took off and the V2 is even more highly consumed. Uh, Tanner Fox rides these bars, so you can definitely say that these are probably one of the most common bars you will see these days. Coming in at number one, we have the Grit Aluminium Battle Bars. They come in 27 inches tall or 685 millimeters by 24 inches or 610 millimeters in width. These are the tallest bars on the list, so if you're a big rider, then you need to get these bars if you like aluminium bars. Now the design has been made so that the strength is in the weak points. Like with the Reaper V2s, you have the gussets. The same with the Districts, you got gussets. These have no gussets, but to compensate, the wall of the aluminium is much thicker where bars normally snap. Now these are the heaviest bars on the list coming in at 980 grams or 2.16 pounds. So there's a lot more metal behind it and it's a lot harder to break through obviously considering the fact that they have a lot more metal than other bars in the weak points. Once again, I will say that the steel bars are definitely a stronger choice if you're wanting bars that are going to last a long time. If you ever bend them, you can whack them back into place, but with aluminium bars, if you bend them and try to bend them back, they're going to snap, without a doubt. And if, to be honest, they probably won't commonly bend, they might bend over time, but eventually they will snap at the weak points, usually near the gussets in the very center, or straight out of your clamp. If I mean, you write SCS, it's not very common with HIC. As always, do not forget to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and hit up the Facebook group Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me, so only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Scooter Brad, and I will see you guys in the next video. EJ's Reapers are bent, and he's gonna try and crack them now. Yeah! No. He snapped them! Scooter Here's Pegger. today. This is me. I just Nate. bring bars, like, Nate. my snap, my Reaper bars. Flavio Sonny, he did a good job, but I guess they snapped. Nate. Alright. So but I'm down to right here. How long have you had them? About eight months.
Eight months? Six or eight. That's good. That's good. For $70 bars, that's pretty good. So you did get a good job. Here. Here. You're going to break the other one? Huh? You're going to break the other one? No, it's, it's no? fine. It's okay. All right. I guess that'll sum it up.